your love reading for the week. My name is Rosa and you are tuning into my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. In today's reading Gemini we're going to take a look at your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with, connecting to and thinking of in love. We will expand on that using the tarot and then towards the end of the reading guys I will draw a couple of oracle cards just for some extra special messages here today. Do keep in mind this is a general reading so take what speaks for you, leave what doesn't. If any part of this reading should connect to your current situation then be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that, Gemini, is by liking, sharing and subscribing. And I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to each and every one of you who continue to show up here on the channel. Even if you're just passing on by, guys, it really does mean the world. So thank you so much for all of your support. Diving on in now, let's take a look at your energy and how you're coming through in love this week. Gemini, Spirit Angels and guys, what messages do you have in regards to our Geminis tuning into this reading? when it comes to love this week. Okay, so you're coming through as the dragonfly. The dragonfly. What I really like about the dragonfly is the upward pointing triangle with the line through it represents the element of air and you're an air sign. You're an air sign. Okay, let's take a look at the energy of your person. They're coming through as the black egg. The black egg, you know, straight away I get like a, like a negative Nancy. Gemini, I feel like you're dealing with maybe a negative Nancy. Mm. I feel like your person is in a bit of a dark hole right now. The person that you're connecting to is in a bit of a dark hole. Okay, they're very negative. They're of a low vibrational energy. And look at you, you're the light. You're this light streaming in and this person is coming in with a negative energy. Okay, maybe they're just in a very negative headspace right now. And I feel with you, Gemini, there's this beautiful curiosity. So there's this willingness to sort of lean in and get curious as to what's happening here with your person. Like you're curious. You want to know what's going on. Why are they feeling this way? Um, what can you do about it? How can you help? How can we change the situation? Okay, so you're coming in open and curious and also willing to learn so you can maybe help them in some way so i feel like you are like a positive influence on this person this week but i also get the sense that you're there's only so much you can take as well because you might be, this person's energy is very, very powerful right now. I feel like this person, the way they are, the way they are being, it's very toxic, unhealthy. And you're like over here, light beaming through you. You know, you are of the light. There's this light and airy energy about you. And it's like this person's starting to get heavy. They're starting to feel heavy. And you can't sort of have this infiltrate your energy field. You know, so let's just grab another animal spirit card for your person. The dragon. Yeah, they're being like the dragon lady or the dragon man. Okay, they're very just angry. Um, negative. I'm thinking of, have you ever watched Neighbours, the Australian show Neighbours? You know, Mrs. Mangle, she was just like the busybody of the street and she never had anything really nice to say. And, and I feel like that's what's happening here with this person. Mm. But the dragon is also, look, they're coming through Look at, look at this. Sorry, Gemini. Look at this. They are coming through with both the spiritual symbol here, which is representative of spirit and the ether. So I feel like this person may be going through a very 
karmic lesson right now or they're experiencing some kind of karma um, but it's trying to teach them something here and I feel like that's the problem they're they're not learning their lesson they're having a hard time learning this lesson and that's why it's happening but it could be something that you could help them with I feel it could be something that you can help them with. Oh, that's what I was going to say. With the dragon, the dragon is also seen as like a lucky, a lucky totem. So this person is inviting their own negative, unlucky energy to them. Like they are being the person who is attracting all of this bad luck. Okay, I feel like this person is experiencing bad luck, but I feel like it's a it's karmic. What you reap, you sow. And I feel like this person is uh, is now, you know, sowing the rewards. <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> it's not exactly the rewards, but you know what I mean? So I do feel that you're over here sort of feeling a little bit fragile because... Yeah, you, there's not so... There, it's like you don't know how much more you can take of this. So let's have a look. Let's just have a look here. I feel like you want to kind of uh, speak openly to this person's behavior as well, Gemini. I feel like you want to kind of just, you know, be a straight shooter and just tell them how, exactly how it is. You want to speak up your truth. And look, that might just be what you need to do to kind of like snap them out of this energy. Son of Pentacles. I feel like you're having a hard time doing that though. Okay, Son of Pentacles, I feel like you're just thinking about it. You're, you're taking your time thinking about it because you don't want to cause any drama. You don't want to make the problem worse than what it already is with the Five of Wands. But you feel like this person may be overly dramatic about things at the moment or causing a lot of drama, unnecessary drama here. And you're just trying to keep it light. You're trying to keep it together. Hmm. Four of Swords. Yeah, I can see that you're trying to hold back your truth here. I feel like you're just afraid to kind of speak up because you don't want to make the situation worse than what it needs to be. I do feel like you're holding your tongue here. Okay, but you might be in a vulnerable situation because you might feel like if you speak up, then you're, you're in the firing line or you're in the firing position. Okay, then you're going to be shot down. Or you're going to be attacked. So I do get the sense here that you... And just taking your time, um, reflecting and thinking what it is you should do. For some of you, Geminis, I feel like maybe some time out or some time apart would benefit you right now. I feel like you might need to just remove yourself um, from this person's space just for a little short time because, yeah, I don't know how much more you can take of their energy right now because it's starting to get you down, I feel. Okay, they're coming through as the Mother of Cups. Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got Three of Pentacles. Oh, wow, Father of Cups. So this is a perfect pair. This person, look, at the end of the day, Gemini, this person really loves you, okay? Um, they really do care about you. Uh, but I feel like they feel so comfortable with you that they're almost sort of taking you for granted, okay? They're taking you for granted. Um, they're being complacent, okay? They're not realising that, you know, you're a human being too and there's only so much you're willing to take as well. But I do get here with the... Um, I do get that there's a, a problem here in this relationship and I feel like the problem or the pressure is becoming bigger for this person, okay? This person may be making a mountain out of a molehill when it comes to your connection as well um, and it's because they do have a lot of feelings for you or they do care very deeply uh, for you here.
But the Mother of Cups and the Father of Cups, they're, they're looking away from each other. They're not looking at each other. So right now, this person is at loggerheads with you or they feel like they're just not on the same page as you or you're just not seeing eye to eye right now. And um, maybe time apart will be good or maybe some time out or some space will be good for this connection. I do feel that this person, like if, if you speak up to this person, I feel like they will, they might not initially like what you have to say, but they will think about it. The Three of Pentacles to me is a card of two people working together, okay, to work through a situation that is dissatisfying right now. So you'll be surprised they will compromise they will meet in the middle they will make a sacrifice because they do care about you and they also ultimately want to kind of fix the problem because i'm seeing the mountain as this this problem that needs to be sorted out um Yeah, but they're just maybe unwilling to sort of like hear what you have to say right now. But I feel like when they calm down, they definitely will take your advice or what you have to say on board. Let's just grab a Romance Angels Oracle card. Okay, we've got finances and career. Wow, that's really interesting. So, and we do have the Three of Pentacles here. So it says, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So it could literally be to do with work. Okay, maybe this person is overworked and it's keeping you separated and you're trying to support them here. Yeah, or it could be it could be as simple as something to do with finances here, okay? Because um, you've got the you've got the Son of Pentacles here too, and, and Pentacles is, you know, Earth energy, money. It's to do with money, finances, job, career. It could be anything of the like. I definitely feel like financial issues or career is getting in the way of your relationship or it's causing an issue in this relationship. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. And I feel like that's what's happening here. This person that you're connecting to is focusing on the problem. And like I said earlier, they're making a mountain out of a molehill. Maybe you kind of like shared something with them. It was maybe something really small. And now you're kind of like regretting it. Why did I share it with them? Now they're making the, the issue bigger than what it really is. You might be over here feeling like, oh, damn, why did I say anything? I really regret my decision, blah, blah, blah. But it's because this person is making it bigger than what it needs to be. So it's becoming a problem right now. Let me just grab another card. And I feel here too, you're the positivity that this person needs. Okay, I just feel like maybe some time out, a break away from each other to kind of realign and readjust yourselves. And then you can come back in and maybe just um, speak some positivity back into this connection okay or into the situation attack pain fear judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help yes attack pain fear judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help so i do feel like maybe this person is crying out for help so this is where you're, you're really good here, Gemini, because it's asking for you to be open or you're coming through as very open and curious and getting to know, you know, what's really going on at the core of this situation. And I feel like that's what the black egg is. It's like, this is the core problem. Let's find out what that is and let's work on that. Let's attack that. Let's fix that. 
okay? And then balance can come back into this situation because you're both willing to work on it, three of pentacles, right? But first you have to get this person to see what it is that they're not seeing right now about their behavior or about their energy or about their perspective. Help them to see what they can't see because they're being blinded here. And I feel like they're being blinded here because they're, they're letting their emotions get the better of them. So there you have it, Gemini. I feel like that was a really long reading. I do hope I was clear about the me like clear with this. Um, if it resonated, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And until next time, take care. Bye, guys.